So before we jump into September favorites and hate it's, um, who's excited for Laura Lee's cat pajama palette to come out? Comment down below if you're excited. I know I can't wait. I'm ecstatic. I need to get my hands on that. Hopefully it doesn't sell out before I can. But yes, no, I cannot wait for it. And Laura, if you're watching this, I love you. And I'm so excited that you finally made a palette and that you're creating your own makeup line. And I'm so happy for you. And that's coming from an outsider looking in. I don't know you personally. Trust me, I wish I did. Um, you're the one. You, Tati, Jeffrey, Manny, and Jaclyn Hill, Jordan Cheyenne and Kelly Strack are the main ones that inspired me to make this beauty channel plus my love for makeup. Okay, I said it. I'm addicted to makeup. But anyways, um, back to the point. I can't wait for your palette. I'm just repeating myself over and over because nothing, no words can explain how excited I am for you. And... Yes, so good job and congratulations. It means the world to your fans that you will put so much effort into something like that. Um, and we love you. I can only talk for myself and my sister, but yes, I know that your fans really appreciate your fans, your subscribers, whatever you call them, but we really appreciate how much work you have put into this palette. And yes, so now let's get on to my September favorites and hate it's. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Um, since I know you guys are new here because it's my first video, I'm Carissa. I have a vlog channel that I'll link down below. Um, so today's video is going to be not just my September favorites and hate it. I know it's like the middle of October, not even the middle, it's the beginning still, but yeah, no. Anyways, yes, um, so I guess it's gonna be like all year round favorites and hate it's, even though this is October and not in December, but I haven't really had a long time to test out some of these products um and so yeah I have some favorites and I have some hated and I'm going to share with you what are which um as you can tell I'm sitting on my bathroom floor the mirror that I get ready in is right behind me and I'm filming off my phone so if this sucks I'm sorry but, so the first thing I want to mention that I have been loving, that I got in June for my birthday, is this Mark, you can't see that because it doesn't even, this Mark Jacobs eyeliner, what is this? Like, I don't even know the color anymore. But anyways, it's really pretty. Um, I'll go what's, um, I'll go over what's on my face first, and this as you can tell, I'm wearing it in my waterline, but let's, oh, that's so creamy. Um, and it dries down pretty fast. I mean, you got to smudge fast with this because if you don't, you won't be able to. Um, next thing I've been loving for... A few months now well since my birthday so some of this stuff most of this stuff I got for my birthday and I'm so late to mention this um, it's the modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills I mean do do we even have to go over this so so pretty it's also some of what is on my eyes today 
I'll go over what else is on my eyes. But yes, this palette is my ride or die. Like, I have the Urban Decay Looking Glass palette. And this palette tops at 100%. Urban Decay, don't hate me, I love you guys, but this palette, oh, my baby. Um, next up, we'll do a hate it. Or, favorites, hate it, yeah. I don't hate it, just don't like it, and I don't want to say anything bad about LA Colors. And remember, this is just my opinion. You all have different opinions. But this concealer palette, so I ran out of my favorite Kat Von D palette, I meant, yeah, um, concealer, and so I had to go and buy this, because right now, you know, eh, save my money's more important, but it's just really, like, to me, it's really oily. Um, and it's really hard to blend, that's the lightest color, blend out. And the corrector in this palette obviously does not do much. You can still see my circles. And that's, let's go up here. Also, it's right here, but it's also like, you have to push hard for it to blend out. I have a hole in the stuff right here this let me tell you so I have this is what I started contouring with was this wet and wild cream stick um, contour stick it has a contour and a highlight and okay don't get me wrong like the contour is pretty but when you, one, it's really hard to blend out. Like, I'm pushing really hard on my skin. And as you can tell, it's not blending out that well. Also, it turns really, really waxy where you contour. And I just uh, hate to say it because I love Wet n' Wild. Um, but this... I'm going to have to invest in like a new cream contour or something because no. We'll go to a uh, love it and since I just talked crap on this brand, I'll This is the Wet n Wild highlighting powder. Um this is yeah, I can't even pronounce it. Mega 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 Glow or whatever. It's, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen this one all over the internet. Every beauty guru was talking about it, and that's what dragged me in. Because, you know, you get their opinions, and you're like, okay. But see, it's, like, really pretty, and then swatch it, and it's right there. Wow, you cannot see it on camera, huh? Well, I mean, kind of. Anyways. Yes, so not so much love. Um, my not so favorite product now is from Anastasia Beverly Hill, and it's girly. It's our girly lip gloss. Don't get me wrong, I love the smell of it, but it's just like. I've given this a couple shots, and every time I put it on, well, one, it's, I know it's a gloss, but, and it's a glittery gloss. There's just so, I feel the chunks of glitter, and I feel like it's cutting my lips when I put it on. So, and I talk about a lot of lip products in this video. Sorry in advance. So, not so much for this, this. And this, but this, let's talk about this. Holy Ride or Die Foundation. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I'm in 
shade beige beige cream or classic beige one of those two I can I don't even know now 371c how about that classic beige beige wow Carissa learn how to talk anyways I love this foundation it is very buildable and just like for me it's as good as my Kat Von D full um, my Kat Von D Lock It foundation in this one I am light 48 natural if I um if I want a more full coverage foundation I will go for this one it's one of my favorites but it's so heavy on the skin that I would rather just build this one up into the coverage that I like um, than wear a heavy foundation all day that's gonna of course like it's a matte foundation and I absolutely love it don't get me wrong and this so these two foundations as you can tell they're actually lighter than each other once for like winter I got it in like winter and it's quite the way gone and then this one I got in summer so still matches my skin tone since I'm still tan <laughs> um next product this so this is from Urban Decay oh I feel so bad because I feel like I'm talking crap on Urban Decay today and like ah I love most of their products but this shadow like it's pretty I mean it's what's on my eyes today but the thing I don't like about it is so yes this brush is dirty I did my makeup today and haven't cleaned my brushes yet but anyways oops that's the wrong side you like don't get any off the brush you see that like nothing barely anything so what you have to do with this one is you have to take your finger and pat it on so there you can see it and this is the half-baked eyeshadow in no name I guess so it has no name but Anyways, I do like this. I just don't like the fact that I have to pat it on with my finger all the time if I want to use it. Bronzer. Well, first, we'll just get face out of the way. Yes, I know bronzer's face, but we'll go to primer. I have one ride and die primer, and that is Porefessional. It's really the only primer I've tested out, though, so. But yes, I love this stuff. I swear by this stuff. And yes, just it's my favorite. Um, bronzers, I have a couple. Hold on. Do, do, do. So we'll start with this. this is a little travel size of the Hourglass um, Bronze. Excuse me. Light. Um, is. It's the one that looks like that it's really pretty and like that's what's on and it just like okay like you see that it's so pretty and sorry that I have to like get really close up with the swatches like I said I'm filming off my phone I don't have filming equipment right now hopefully getting that in December but who knows I'm a really outgoing person also if you guys want to like know that about me I'm a really outgoing person. I love everybody. Well, some people. Um, <laughs> and all of the people watching this, I love you. And like you guys are awesome for even tuning in to my videos to even think about watching. But anyways, now on to favorites and hate it. Um, this is in chocolate something. It's a medium deep matte bronzer it's from Too Faced it's from their chocolate collection and not not only does it smell good like go to the nearest Sephora and see if they have this and just like smell it if you don't know what it smells like it smells like hot cocoa <gasps> okay anyways 
on to the product. It takes a couple swirls and a lot of building up, but when you build it up, it's right, yeah, you see that, like, it's really pretty, but you can build it up. I've found you can anyways. And my favorite type of brushes to apply these with are either the the only brushes I have, not the only brushes I have, but that I like to apply bronzer with, but it's the e.l.f. Professional Bronzing Brush, which looks like this, or the e.l.f. Professional Total Face Brush. And I like this one more because then I could really just go in circles and get up by my hairline. And one more bronzer, and then we will move on to highlight. I'm all over the place. I don't even know where I am. Uh, we'll go to lips next. And then I'll go to my other highlight that I absolutely love. Okay, so anyways, next one. Hula bronzer from Benefit. Oh my god, it's been my ride or die since day one, since the day I ever, ever got it for Christmas last year. <laughs> but anyways, like, you guys, it's, this is just, hold on, I just used the same finger that I used for my other one, so I'm like, it's gonna not look right. So anyways, who was right here, it's light, but it builds up. And like, as far as I know, don't quote me, I don't use Hula Light, but as far as I've seen and I've heard, it builds up pretty good too. So now, on to lips. We'll start so two things that I am loving and have been loving since they came out are these Wet n Wild um, Mega Last Liquid Lipsticks. Um, I have shade Coral something and Give Me Mocha. I don't wear a lot of brown shades at all and I love the applicator because it just like hugs your lips when you put it on. But this one, oh yeah, I love this. Um, and then here's a coral one. This one's a little patchy, like they both are, but you can build them up. And it could be the way I'm doing the swatches because they don't ever look patchy on my lips. Um, so yes, I love these. <laughs> They are one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. I have two more lip products. And then we'll move on. So this is Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in Queen Bee. I'm pretty sure. Yes, Queen Bee. Um, and it's a purpley. Here, well, this swatch is going to suck. But it's a purpley nude color more purpley than anything and I just absolutely love it I wear this one all the time Too Faced has the most ride or die lip products for me ever like I've tried a couple and oh my god this one's from Anastasia Beverly Hills um this is in Pure Hollywood um I love this but it dries out my lips pretty bad um i don't know why i still wear it all the time but and the applicator is not my favorite but i i work with it and this is just like more of a pinky nude color so there's queen bee and pure hollywood and i just cannot live without these two lipsticks so i'm really upset because this is breaking this is a mini becca highlighter in opal so i can't really show you because it's broken i have to fix it um but i I'll, I'll swatch it for you um 
It's a really like pretty champagne-ish color. And we'll put it right here. And just look at that freaking glow. Look at that blind. Like, yeah. Damn, my favorite. I'm gonna fix it in a minute. Um, mascara. Let's move on to mascara before we move on to brows because I only have one brow product product that I'm really loving. So the first one I'm loving is by Benefit. It is the Roller Lash and oh my, I swear by this mascara. I actually swear by all three of these mascaras. But this one, I could not live without. I could never live without and I will never live without. Like, let's hope Benefit never gets rid of it because I can't live without it. The next one is from Longcomb, Langcomb, however you want to say it. It is their something big, Mon Monsieur Big, something like that. But this is the miniature one, but it is fantastic. Um, and then the other one is my miniature Marc Jacobs um, Velvet Neor Major, Major Volume Mascara. And like, it just, like, okay, I have to show you guys. So I have a roller lash on, but. Look at that difference. Okay. Now that I look funny, let's... Put it on there. So yes, this is one of my all-time ride-or-die mascaras. Like I said, I have to... This, well, for being the first setting powder that I've ever used, um, I still swear by it. Um, it has no flashback. It's... The Maybelline Mineral Powder Finishing Bell Translucent Powder, obviously, in the sh shade Translucent. Translucent. Wow, how come I was having a hard time saying that? I don't know. But yes, I swear by this. I love this. And I will forever love it. Brow products really fast. Benefit Cabra. Like, okay. Can we just talk about how cute this is? Like, and you just go, do, 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 and spully it through. Like, that's, like, come on. Look at this brow. <laughs> Anyways, this is really the only brow product I've tried. I love it. Um,. Let's swatch it for ya. Because it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, but like, yes, it's right there. So pretty and it's like, you can just easily get in there precise like you need to and so yes, this is my Ride or Die Benefit Mascara. I meant, wow, brow product. It's a brow product, Carissa. Blush! Tarte Amazonian, excuse me, 12 hour clay butt blush and party. This one, love it. I mean, clearly I've used it a lot. The path right there is wearing out. You do have to build it up because like on a brush, you do have to build it up. That was actually a pretty hard swatch, like slightly rub, but hard this thing. <laughs> um, yes, I have a few more products that I will go over. Um, love it. Like these can't live without. I love them so much. Jeffree Star Lip Scrubs. I have Velour. These are the Velour Lip Scrubs. I have Strawberry Gum and Root Beer. And like, 
I use these every night. I'm surprised I haven't ran out yet. Like, nah, I need more. Okay, before I leave, who is excited for Laura Lee's cat pajama palette? Like, oh, October the 13th, you need to get here fast. I'm so ready for that palette to be out already that the second it comes out, I'm getting my hands on it. That's going to wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'm going to post once, twice a week, maybe. Um, <laughs> my swatch arm. And yes, so let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Sorry this video sucked, and sorry that um, the editing's going to suck. Like I said, it's my first video, and I'm filming the favorites and hate it for September, and this will be up the 10th, I think. Um, Tuesday. So I'm going to try to post Tuesdays and Thursdays for right now and go from there. And yes, make sure to follow me on all my social media so you can see what I'm doing behind the, behind the camera, like behind the scenes, I guess is what I'd say. And I love you guys. Best thing... For me, that has happened is the people on my vlog channel and the people watching this right now. I love you guys. And thank you for even watching till the end if you're seeing this. You are beautiful. Don't let anybody bring you down. You are amazing. And I always want you to remember that. So yes, I love you. Also... If I ever sound country, it's because I am country. I'm just not from like, Alabama. Like, I'm from Utah, a small town called Price, Utah. That's where I used to live. And so I have that country accent. And it comes out at times. See? <laughs> but anyways, yes, I love you guys. And thank you so much for watching this video.